Stay on brand and make your text pop by using color overlays with your photos. In this video, I will show you three methods in PowerPoint that are quick and easy to incorporate. Let's get started. The first strategy is to use a shape with a transparency fill. Once you have your picture on your slide, add a rectangle from the shape drop down option on the home tab. Draw over about a third of the image. Change the color fill to the one that you want. Set the outline to no outline. If you use a custom color scheme, it really helps to have those colors already selected. I created another video on how to choose a color scheme, so make sure you check that out. From the Shape Format tab, open the Format pane, display the Fill option, then change the transparency setting between 20 and 35%. The darker the color, the more transparent you can have your setting. Now add your text. Even though you can add a fill to a text box, I prefer using a shape because I can resize it to the height and width that I want. Text boxes can only be resized horizontally and it takes a little bit more fiddling for vertical resizing. In the comments, let me know how you've used filled shapes and images together. The next strategy for adding a color overlay to a photo is using the recolor tool. Use this option when you need to align your photos with your color scheme. Watch my video on creating color schemes in PowerPoint to learn how to do this. Select the image on your slide. In the picture format tab, click the color button. In the recolor section, you will notice that the color options match your color scheme. Choose the option you want. What I like about this option is that the image stays crisp and viewable. Now you can add your text. The disadvantage of this option is that depending on your image, it can be hard to get a good contrast between your text and your image. Using a shape with the same fill color as the picture can create contrast. You can even add transparency to the shape if you want. The third strategy for adding a color overlay to a photo is using the color saturation option. Select the image on your slide. In the picture format tab, click the color button. In the color saturation section, choose zero saturation. This essentially changes the image to a grayscale image. Now add a rectangle from the shape dropdown option on the home tab. Draw over the entire image and change the color fill to the one that you want and set the outline to no outline. As I mentioned earlier in the video, it helps to have your color scheme ready to go. From the Shape Format tab, open the Format pane, then display the fill option. Change the transparency setting between 20 and 35%, and now add your text. With the image recoloring at grayscale, it allows the shape color to be more predominant. Here's an example of the same shape and transparency over the image with zero saturation. The image difference is subtle, but here's an example with an image with really bold colors. The visual impact is very different between the two. So it's important with color overlays that your images are playing a supporting role, so you don't want them to dominate over your text and message. Let's take a look at the three examples. Each provides a slightly different visual effect, and it allows you to stay on brand with your custom color scheme. Continue watching for more slide design tips and tricks.